So the next habit that will sometimes actually cause nervousness, not take it away, is asking for critiques from friends, coworkers, significant others, whatever it is. Uh, one of the things I, I like to say in class is just about everything you've ever learned about public speaking is wrong. And the first time I ever said that to a public speaking class, I, I, I really felt nervous about how the group was really going to react to it. It was kind of a spur of the moment type thing, but it, it, I knew it was accurate, but I didn't know really how the audience was gonna, gonna react. I was afraid that they were gonna see me as being arrogant. You know, oh, so you're the expert. And everybody else is wrong, right? Well, as a matter of fact, yeah, <laughs> as a matter of fact, by the way, I, I mean, I wouldn't say that everyone or everything is wrong. It's just you know, everything you've ever learned, you know, all those big, all those things that people tell us, those little tips and tricks that people tell us typically don't really work very well. So like, for instance, most people are taught to write out their presentation word for word. We've already said that's, and, and, and then memorize it. We've already said that's not a really good idea at all. Um, most people are taught that a slideshow is, the, is, um, is uh, should be uh, used as the speech itself, not a visual aid for the speech. You know, some people are taught to really slow down their delivery. Um, they're taught to practice over and over and over and over again in front of a mirror or something like that. All of those things, are, they're, they're, they're challenged. They're, they're going to create more nervousness. They're going to create more challenges for us. And so um, I, the, so the, 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 thought process of doing the exact opposite of what most people do when they prepare typically will make you a much better speaker than than what you might expect anyway. So when we ask well-meaning friends, coworkers, significant others for feedback, they're often going to give us advice that doesn't actually work. So they'll actually give us advice like some of these things that we talked about that just doesn't work. And in fact, if you ask two people for advice, you might actually, you might actually get contradictory advice from each one of them. Each, pe each person that, that, uh, that is out there that becomes a speaker or that speaks on occasion anyway has specific strengths in communication, and then every speaker has weaknesses as well. So your strengths and your coworkers' strengths are, they may be a little different, you know, so the, the things that you're really good at and the things that your coworkers are really good at may be different. So your weaknesses may be different as well. So, um, I, so a good example is this was what, what if a, if a really high energy enthusiastic presenter, um, is trying to coach somebody that's more low key and detailed. So if, if, if I'm the low key detail oriented type person and I ask my coworker who is high energy and enthusiastic, Hey, what do I need to do to be, become a better speaker? They're going to say, man, you got to kick it up a notch. You got to have some more enthusiasm, have some energy, cut out on some of those details. So basically it would be taking away the, the thing that I'm really good at and replacing it with my biggest weakness. And that usually is a really bit, really bad idea. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, people come to our public speaking classes, the two day public speaking classes is because um, what our instructors do is something that's a little bit different. We help people identify what they're really good at, what their strengths are and help them extenuate or, or maximize that strength. Right. And then also reduce the, the weaknesses along the way. So, the, and it typically works pretty well. So take advice from other people with a grain of salt. Sometimes they're going to give you advice that may not be the most effective for you.